Hi. So today we are going to I'm going to show you how to how I did the Google results page. Um, this is going to be just the desktop version. I have another code for the, mob, the mobile version of this one. So in here I've already prepared I have already prepared my folder um, with the index.html and style.css files together with the images that we're going to use for this one. And I'm going to link uh, the source code for this one uh, in the description box below. So here, my index.html, I have already um, linked these two, um, index and the uh, index.html and the style.css. Plus, I have also uh, pasted the script for the font awesome because we are going to use a bunch of icons for this um, tutorial and I've um, typed in uh, the title for this page okay so I'm going to show you what's what are we going to um, I mean the, the, the final result so this is the um, this is what we are going to do Google search page. So this one's oh, okay. Uh, I think this is one. Yeah, this one. So once you hover, I mean, once you click this one, so it has a pop up menu. I mean, a pop up. Um, how you call that? Information. And then, yeah, so let's start. So we are going to, um, what we're going to do is to code first, I mean outline our code. So let's make a container that houses all the, I um, mean the entire um, sections. So let's give it a class of main. And then our top section should be header. And then the middle one is the body. The last one should be the footer. So let's start with the header. Notice that um, our header uh, is com it has two rows right this one the first row and then the second row so we are going to have two containers within the two divs um, within this header so we're going to name the first one as the top header so top header the second one should be the bottom header Now for the top header, um, we're going to have a div container for the logo. And then for, um, for the search bar, for this one, where you type or key in your whatever you want to search. So let's give it an ID of search bar and for the last one for the top header we're going to name this as right um, icons ID okay this one Alright, so for the logo, let's have an I IMG tag and um, let's look for Google PNG and then for the alt text, just logo. This is going to be a long video, by the way. My previous, um, the first project, which is the Google 
uh what was that the first one it's it's almost i think an hour so this is going to be a really long video for the second div where is that okay search bar we're going to have an input the type is text let's give it an id of um search name search and then an icon since i've already prepared prepare this one i mean i've, I've obviously i've um, created a i've coded the first this result the first one so we're not i'm not gonna waste time um scanning uh, going to font awesome and scanning looking for the icons so since i have already created this previously i'm just going to um type in here the icon that we're going to use so times and then some span this span is for this one in between this x and the microphone so um it's a pipe pipe bar how do you call that one and then i with a class of anyway you can look this up in um font awesome if you want microphone and then the last oops. search okay i think that's that's it for the search bar for the right icons i'm going to have i another icon so it's we're going to have an a, a button so for this one but um, link that's not going anywhere sign in and that's it for the um, top header now let's go to the bottom header for this one okay so for the bottom for the bottom header, obviously we have a lot of icons in here and text. So for the first one, let's give it an ID all. And then within that one is an icon and then a text, right? So class. You know when I first created this one, it, it took me hours and hours actually. I think two days. But of course, it's not it's not a total of 48 hours. Um, there's a lot of breaks in between, but it really, I mean, it's it's quite a long code. So, uh, search. So this is really a long video. All. Next one is the news this one so let's give it an id of news yeah so i hope i'm not gonna fa newspaper okay 
and then use Uh, I hope I'm doing this right for F A stop circle for videos and then some text in oops. videos okay so another div that houses for maps So an ID uh, FA stop I think I've wait. Oh, okay, I am. Um, I have a mistake. So it should be far F A stop circle and then videos for this one. It should be F A. Mob marker and then out. And then maps save and then for b123 for the fifth one the images another div div container so images and then within that one is an icon again oops glass with a class of FAS FA dash image. And then some paragraph images. For the last icon and text, let's give it um, an ID of more. Oops. Um, I class uh, F A S F A V and then some text more. Okay, since we have a one, two, three, we have three text. These are um, actually clickable but in this in this video it's not it's purely HTML and CSS so this these um, texts are not even if you click this one it's not going anywhere so we're going to have three a tags so for the for this one let's give it a class of settings because this is for settings so settings another a tag it's not going anywhere let's give it a class of uh, middle and then tools for the last a tag let's give it a um, let's give it an id of safe search so it's safe save and then that's it for our header so we have completed the top header and then the bottom header now let's go to our body so by the way I have this is connected to live server, so these are, oh, I'm locking one, one, 
think I'm lacking a one icon. So search all. I I am missing one, two, three, four. For the map. I think I have some mistake. Let's go back to the maps. Okay. So it should be I class. Oh, it's not R, it's S. Okay, so there you go. Now we're finally done with the header. Now for the body, there's a lot of going on here, as you can see. So let's start. Um, okay, first is some paragraph. Let's just copy this one. And then let's create a div that will contain this this um, the first card so let's give it a class of first card I think it will be best um, I think it will be best again that we outline um, the child elements within this div container which is a class of body so let's continue to the second div so after the first card card we will have below another div below card and then another div for the results and then another div for um drop down class of related search This one, um, since we were going to have two related search, so let's just copy that one. And then last part, and then second logo. Okay, so now that we have outlined our um and our our body so let's start let's continue with the first div container which is a class of first card so for this one let's have some uh, paragraph So I think let's just copy this one. Copy that one. And then let's create another div below this paragraph. And let's give it a class of text uh, with arrow. Oh. Yeah, okay. Text with arrow down 
Um, and then some paragraph let's just copy this one so by the way the, the div that we just created houses this this one below the paragraph so let's just copy this one and then paste that in there And then an icon with a glass of um, F A S F A and go down. Okay, so and then the last one is a an anchor tag. Let's copy this one. So this is actually an A tag. Just paste. So that's it for the first card. For below the card, let's let's um make two div so one is for this one and then another for this feedback so this is um we were going to have another div container and then within the div container are another two containers so for the first one let's give it an id of question mark and then for the second one oops id of exclamation yes. all right and then an icon that is a class of f a s f a question circle and then some a tag beside it so um, you know what let's just copy this one all right so who is that so for the exclamation point Class F A S F A exclamation circle and then again a tag and let's copy the text feedback. So we're done with the below card now for the Next div, which has an ID of results. So for the um, for the next container, which has an ID of results, that's going to be this one. So the results. 
below this two let's make another div for the for the um, first result let's give it another I mean let's give it a class of first result and within that uh, div is another div which will have text with arrow down all right and some paragraph let's copy this this one that one and then after the paragraph um, is some icon so it should be f a s f a angle down f a angle down yeah f a angle down should be oops right and uh, what was next outside this div just outside this text with arrow down class is an a tag that's not going anywhere let's copy this this blue one so that's just some a tag and then some text and then the paragraph for this whole thing after the a tag so what we're going to do now is just we're just going to replicate this one let's just copy and paste this one until i think we are going to copy this one two three four five six seven so seven so six times more and um this is gonna let's just uh give them different classes so two three four five six let's start with this one so this should be seven years old sixth and then above should be six it should be fifth and then fifth fourth third and whoops i think i have oh so i'm lacking one i guess let me see, double check. So first, fifth, sixth, seventh. Yeah, I'm lacking one. So one more. Copy. Yes, so this should be second.
Okay, so now let's go to the next div which has an ID of drop down. So th this one, we're going to make this one. So it has a drop down and the text below. And as you can see, the the arrow also changes as we click. So the way we do this is we are going to use, of course, just CSS. So we're going to use the input with the, with the type of checkbox. And so notice that when you hover over this one, anywhere in this line, so it has a cursor, it has a pointer cursor. And anywhere, you can just, oops, you can just click this one, and then it will pop up. So that's what we're going to do next. So some H1 some h1 and then let's copy this one people also ask and then we're going to create a div container which has an id of drop drop down so we're going to create within the div we're going to create this will be um, one div, another div, another div, another div, and another div. So for that one, we're going to give it a class of first line. For that first line, as I've mentioned, we're going to use input with the type of checkbox. Let's give it an ID of check and then below that one is another div container. Okay. And this should have four check. So some paragraph for this one. Let me copy this. How am I going to copy this one? How? Oh, I can copy it. So, we can copy. Below that is a, an, another icon. Class FAS, FA arrow down and then the arrow up FAS FA so below this div Below the input and this div, which is a class of facade, is another div that houses the pop-up. This information below, so when you click this one, this is um, an information underneath the text, I mean the results. So, let's make another... Um, Div container, let's give it a class of below and some paragraph. Let's copy from here. Paste. And then ordered list. And then list. Let's just copy this one. Okay. Li. For the second
and down to the last list publish your website below this um, ordered list tag is a paragraph for this one let's just copy that one and then some anchor tag copy this one All right and then some paragraph with an ID of for the lack of better word blah and then so it's uh, search for let's copy that one and then within that, within the paragraph tag is an A tag that has a text of how do I create blah blah blah. So that's it for 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 this one with a drop down. Now what we're going to do here is just we're going to we're just going to copy this one for how many one four times more. So let's copy that one. One two three so the drop down uh, div um, we're done with that one for the next one the related search for related search so we're going to have some some text and then a class of text view and then another class or I mean another div with a class of related results with logo And then within this div which has a class of text view let's give it a oops should be an anchor tag that has a text of view three plus more so were you able to um, see it like so this is another div this whole thing and then within that div is another I mean paragraph for this one and then this is another div for this line I mean for this row and then another div for this one So for the logo, we're going to, where is that, okay, for this one here, inside the related results with logo, let's make a div container with a class of logo link. So it has an image tag.
and then an eight oops an a tag with the name of Moby Price. I'm just going to copy this one for how many times? One, two, three, four. So four. And then just edit. So for the second one, it should be images, um, Google Web Designer. Web Designer. Copy, paste. For the third one, it's Dreamweaver. So let's edit the source, Dreamweaver, Weaver, Copy, for the fifth one, Bootstrap Studio, Bootstrap Oh, no, no, no. Let's look for the Bootstrap Studio image. And then Bootstrap Studio. I think it's the last one. Yeah, the last one is Microsoft front page image. So I'm lost again. So Microsoft. Let's copy that one and paste it in the A tag. Okay, that's it for the related search. So as you can see, there are two of them. And I just really copied that one. So let's just copy the um, inside of this one. Okay, copy. And then paste it in the second related search div. For the div, second to the last div. Okay, so we are going to um, do this one. So some H1 inside. Let's copy this one. And then each. Um, see this magnifying glass with the text so we're going to house this each with a div so let's give it a class of search word within that is an icon with a class of fas fa search and the text not going anywhere let's just copy this one website so let's copy this 
wait a second one. You know what? I just copy this one. I mean, you get my point, right? It's just different text, and just, just copy this one. Um, two more. So the last part. Now we are down to the last div inside this con um, body container. Now for the second logo, for the last div that's a, that has a class of second logo, um, it has, let me show you this one. So it has some image. So let's give it, um, let's, let's create another div container with a class of logo arrow and then some image. Let's look for the Google. And then some, um, how do you call that term? Icon. F A S. F A. Arrow. Right. Now, within this, I mean, with below this div is another div container that houses the numbers. So let's give it a class of numbers and just um, a bunch of anchor tag with different numbers so let's just copy this one Okay, so should have um, a last one with the word next. So we're done with the last div. Now we are going to make the footer. Finally, so the footer, as you can see, has a, is composed of two rows. So, within this footer um, element, we're going to have two divs: one for the top footer. Next is for the bottom one. Just to, just like what we did with the header. So for the top, we're going to have, um, okay, let's just type this one real quick. I'm using, I'm, I am enclosing the, this word, this bolded wor word in a span because we're going to style that one. And then outside the span is this one. Let's just copy this. Another text. And then that's it. Let's go to the bottom. This is just a bunch of A tags again. Help. And feedback. 
Seed. For privacy. And then that's it. Save. Let's take a look. Let's make sure that all the icons are there. Okay, I think everything is working. Now, of course, it looks awful. Later, we are going to um, style this in our style, in our um, style sheet. Yeah, I, it's it's long. It's quite long. So that's it for the HTML. Now we're ready to style our page. So now let's continue with um, styling our um, HTML. So for starter, always start with this one. So let's eliminate those extra spaces. Um, border box and then margin and padding zero. Then for the body, I would like to give it a line height of 1.4 and then remember our um, main container or main div with a class of container so I'll give it a dis display of flex flex direction should be column that's from top to bottom and then justify content center so meaning this is um, the position of the elements or the items with respect to uh, the main axis which is in this case column so from top to bottom so that's in between top and bottoms since it's center and then align items this is center so from left to right in between left and right let's save and let's check let's check first oh. so right click the index.html and open with live server if you don't have the extension um, live server then you should get it it's just very convenient every time you make changes it's uh, it will automatically display so let's continue header let's give it a position of fixed so that it just stays on top so since it's going to be on top so top zero let's give it a height of 120 pixels um width should be all across so 100 percent again display flex um flex direction column and we want them we want the items to be in um, center and then align items space between align item space uh, between so is there okay so they're going to be evenly scattered or evenly positioned rather overflow hidden um oops Let's give it some padding. Uh, five pixels for the top and bottom. Twenty pixels for left and right. Some border bottom. Um, I would like to give it uh, a subtle um, border bottom. So, 
So background color should be white. Save. Okay, okay this is the <clears throat> this is what we're the original one. I mean the finished one, and this is what we're working on. So we need to style this more. So let's continue. So for the top header, oops, top. So for the top header, um, this one, the logo, the input, and then this this icons, and then the a tag. So we'd like to give it a display of flex, justify content flex start so since I did not uh, indicate the flex direction so this is automatically have had ha, this is automatically have a direction of row so that's from left to right so I want to justify content to flex start so I want them to position um, starting at the left align items center so i want them to align in between top and bottom so at the center top header this is for those icons and the a tag so right icons margin left auto so what what hap what this would do is that um i'm giving it a margin left with auto so that those items that i gave an id starting from that item that i or element that i gave an id of right icons it would move to the far right i mean to the right most so you will see after this one top header let's let's um, resize our image first before I save what we have just uh, what uh, done here so 50 pixels save uh, you can't see much yet Anyway, let's continue. So for the search bar, position relative. So in this in this time we are targeting the the search box. So let's give it a width of 750 pixels, some height um, about 40, border radius of 50, so that we'll end up with something like this with a smooth edges and then border one pixel solid gray search bar okay so this we are targeting the icon the x icon so position absolute so the reason why we gave um the id here uh a position of relative so because we are we will give the child of the search bar which is this icon a position of absolute because remember that position absolute is actually relative to the near to its nearest ancestor that has a position of relative so Let's give it um, 
right 120 pixels top 12 pixels Let's target the search span. Same thing with the span. So we're giving we're giving it a position of absolute, and then position it correctly with right subject pixels and top twelve pixels. Oh, okay, I'm wrong. So it's supposedly 100 pixels and then 8 pixels for the top. So again, for the search bar, FA-micro microphone. Same thing with this one. We're giving it a position of absolute. And then right this is the 70 pixels and then some top 12 pixels we are now targeting the icon the search icon so position of absolute Remember that all these icons are inside the search bar div. Um, for the right, it should be 30 pixels. And then top, 12 pixels. Now we are targeting the um, another icons. Margin right of 40. Now for the anchor tag. So let's um, eliminate the text decoration, those bullets. And let's give the text a white color. And then the background, background. The background should be this color. It's 4285 F4. And then the padding is 5 pixels top and bottom, 10 pixels right and left. Now let's continue with the bottom header, margin left 170 pixels, margin top 20 pixels, some width, let's give it 80% um, and then display of flex. Justify content, flex start, and then align item center. So now finally we are seeing some results. So as you can see, we are done with the top header. So the our logo, the search bar, the icons within the search bar, and then the icons at the rightmost. So now we are close to completing the 
the header. So let's continue with the bottom part. So again, bottom header, and then it's it's child div. Let's give it a margin right of twenty pixels. For the save search, save search. Did I spell it right? Okay, so let's give it some margin left of auto, meaning it will it will be positioned to the rightmost. So text decoration none to eliminate those. Um, how do you call that? Those border button and then let's give it the color of black for the text and now for the rest of the okay so class bottom header all so let's just copy this one. This is for those. Um, remember this one? The all news videos. So let's copy and just edit. So news. Copy this for videos. This is for maps. I hope I'm not missing an icon here. So this is for more. And then let's give them a display of flex. So this is, I'm not going to specify what direction. So that's automatically row. From left to right and giving it the flex start to justify content meaning it will start from the left align item center so in between top and bottom save and we are almost done with the bottom let's go back and finish some bottom header all for the paragraph for the text i mean text beside the icons oops oh, done okay let's do it let's, let's do the same let's copy and then just edit okay videos again and then this what's next should be maps right maps copy again this is for images um this is for Give it a margin left of 130 pixels. Text decoration none. Then color of the text black. For the middle, so margin left 20 pixels. Again, text decoration of none. Oops, black. Save. Let's take a look. 
Okay, so now we're done with um, with the bottom. I think we're having a problem with the safe search on. It should be, um, let's double check. Glass of middle. Where did oh okay so I forgot another syntax. It should be right. Oh it's not. Ah haha uh -huh. okay so it's it's not text emphasis it should be text decoration. That's why it um you notice that it has still that border border bottom. For the safe search I guess we we have to move it at the right most safe search let's double check id of safe search i think i'm missing something here safe search mm -hmm. margin left is auto it should place Safe search. What is wrong? It should be placed at the right most. Let's see. Shouldn't this be a hundred pixels? No. Um, let's adjust. So ninety. I think this should be eighty. Eighty. I think eighty-five would do. Yeah, I think that's that's a lot better. So I edited the width for the bottom header. To 85% that's originally 80% all right so let's go to the body okay let's give the body some width 100% margin top 130 pixels body left um, 190 pixels Some padding right of 450 pixels. For the first card, glass first card. Let's give it a padding 1M all around. Some border of 1 pixel solid in. border radius of 10 pixels margin top 1.5 rem so by the way i didn't use the same um how do you call this font so anyway I'm just show you, showing you how I did this, so this would do. I think I used um, Georgia in this this first one. This one I just used a default. So let's continue with the body. First card, let's target the paragraph. So let's give it a font size of 1.2 rem. 
and some paring bottoms to give it some space. That looks kind of awful. I think I should I should adjust this one to one. Let's see one m. Oh, it's not. Okay, let's adjust this one more. Point nine m. I think that's a lot better. Next, let's target the um, the div that has a class of text with arrow down. So let's give that display of flex. Justify content of flex start because I wanted to start at um, from the left. Align items of center, so in between top and bottom. Let's copy this one, copy and then paste. Save. Text with arrow down for the anchor tag. Let's give it a text decoration of none. Some font size 22 pixels, and then the color should be this type of blue DAB. Okay. Now let's put some hover effect. Should have some space. So the hover effect should be just some border bottom. Two pixels solid. And then one, just one. Let's have a look. Okay, so we have a problem in here. This arrow down should be placed. Let's double check. Uh -huh. So header is done. Arrow down. So all of these is in first card, okay, so first card, adding, why is it placed in such a low, Text with arrow down. Okay, so what I did was um, I gave the paragraph this one with some padding so that the text and this in this icon arrow down should be aligned so i give it a padding gap of some 20 pixels now let's move on to the text and the icon below the card i mean yeah below the card so we gave that a class of below card some color and then display of flex 
justify content flex end because this is placed at the end of the card right flex end and then align items center some margin right of 22 pixels margin bottom 20 pixels so it's placed correctly now let's remove the these um, underlines so for the question mark And then for the exclamation text decoration none let's give them a hover effect so let's just copy this one and then edit hover let's give it a border bottom one pixels solid gray now we're done with that finally we're close with with um, completing the body I think 50%. <laughs> so let's continue. Results. Display of flex, flex direction. Th this time, let's give it um, flex direction of column. Justify content center. For the align items, this would be flex start. So this is um, at the left. Parting right of 55 pixels. Now our problem in here is that the text is way below, so it's opposite from the earlier. I think we're going to... Increase maybe the font. So that they look aligned. Wait, uh, font. Let's try to give this a font size of, I don't know, 18 pixels. Let's see. Mm. 
or maybe let's target the icon narrow down I mean angle down try to I hope it works no it's not it's not working I think the best solution for this one is let's go back to the first card and let's give this some ID um, the paragraph under the text with arrow down div let's give it an ID of I don't know let's just say one and then go back here And replace this with one and then I think I have done something wrong with this one. Oh no um, yeah so it's correct This one, let's give it a padding of padding right 15 pixels. There you go. So, what I did was because the problem um, earlier was that the text is not aligned with the arrow down or the angle down, but in here it was it was okay below the card, but in here it was not. So, I gave it a padding of top, and so it affected. Because it's it has the same div, it, it has the same class, so it effect, affected all the below below the card that has that div. So what I did is just I I, I just gave this particular paragraph with some ID, and then so that the properties that is just targeted specific to the div to this div and then yes so let's continue oops related search Border radius ten pixels. Padding twenty pixels. Display flex. And then some flex direction column. Um, justify content center. Align items. Flex start. And then some margin bottom 30 pixels. We are close to that. Okay, let's continue.
let's target the image let's give it some width of 90 and then some height 90 pixels And then let's give it some hover effect. Just some border bottom. One pixel solid and this color blue. For the related results with logo. So let's give it a display of flex. Justify content of flex start. So this is positioning the item at the left. And then align item center, so in between top and bottom. Save and let's see. For the last part, we give it a display of flex and then justify content center, align items, flex start, some margin bottom 50. Some font size 24 pixels, padding bottom of 20 pixels.
Let's give it um, some hover effect. Border, bottom. Do not be confused if I'm styling this first. Um, compared to this one, because uh, originally I um, I created this one first, then this. So anyway, we'll get into that later. So let's continue with um, the. Container with the class of logo arrow. Let's give it a display of flex. Justify content. So again, since I am not um, specifying what direction it is, so this is automatic. This means automatically a row. So. Just if I counted the flex start and then align items center. And let's give it some margin left 150 pixels. Now let's target the image. Let's give the image some um, margin right of 100 pixels. And then for the icon, arrow right. Let's make it bigger and um, give it a font size of 25 pixels. For the numbers, The same, um, justify content, flex start, align items of center, some margin left, 170 pixels. Targeting the anchor tag. So margin, margin right of 10 pixels and then text decoration of none to get rid of that border button. And then let's give it some hover effect. Border, border, one pixel solid. And then this kind of blue. We will style this um, in the last part. So this one, this, this section that has a pop-up. So we're styling this one. First, the section below the pop-up. And then for the footer, let's give it a width of 100% all the way across, um, height of 150 pixels, some background 
color um, display of flex for the flex direction I will give it a direction of column since remember we have two two rows in the footer same with um, the header so justify content for this one center and then align items center for the top um, oops for the top section of the footer let's give it some padding bottom some border bottom of one pixel solid and I know it's redundant but I want to emphasize the data header as well as the bottom header as a width of 100% for the top footer targeting the text so let's give it some um, padding left of 200 um, color gray top footer span font weight of 700 some border left one pixel solid padding left five pixels some color black now for the bottom section Um, again, let's give it a wave of 100% display of flex. Justify content. Flex start. Align items. Center. Adding depth of 200 pixels. Bottom top um, 10 pixels and then let's target the anchor tag text decoration of non color gray for the text some right padding uh, about 25 pixels Finally, we are now going to style the drop down. So, for the drop down, that's border. Let's give it some border of one pixel solid and a subtle gray color. Border radius about 10 pixels. Some margin top 1.5 rem. And then some margin bottom of 30 pixels. Drop down. Um, targeting the H1. Let's give it some padding top of 5 pixel. And then padding left. 10. Now we are targeting the um, the text. This one, um, the one that you will see right on before you click this text or in the arrow. Let's give it a display of flex. Um, so. 
automatically the direction is row align items center so for the uh, first line let's pos let's give it a position of relative so that the um, so that we can assign a position of its child or children a uh, position of absolute so border bottom one pixel solid and this type of gray all right so for the first line for the right now we are targeting the input so let's give it a position of absolute Remember that position absolute is actually relative to its nearest ancestor that has a position of relative. Height 30 pixels, some width about um, 800 pixels, Z index of 2, cursor pointer, and then opacity. We are giving this an opacity of zero because we don't want this to show. Just want this to be in front of in front of the text in the arrow. But yeah, that's how it that's how it this pop up works. So yeah, we're using the input which has a type of checkbox and then giving it giving it an opacity of zero to appear it um, like it's not there. And then for the below, for the pop-up, this is the text or paragraphs below this text once you click this one. So let's give it a display of flex. Flex direction column um, justify content flex start. So I want this center in between uh, left and right. Let's give it some padding all around 15 pixels. So let's stop bottom left and right for the ordered list um, o -L. let's give us some padding of 20 pixels facade Give it um, adding 10 pixels all around. With a now we're targeting the icon, um, the arrow up and down. Below. So let's give it a display of none, because we don't want the arrow up to show in this state we we want it to show once we click this one and we want the arrow down to disappear so that's why we're giving it a display of none so here's the magic happens check check so once you check the input or the checkbox um, that below should display should appear so from display of none once you check the input or the checkbox it should display it should appear so check
facade F A arrow dash down. So let's give her the display of none. Leave none. Let's copy this one and we are will now target the arrow up and it should display inline so it should appear once you check the checkbox you're placing the arrow down so for the below let's give it some some top padding of 15 pixels and then for the anchor tag uh, let's make the text bigger and then let's get rid of that um, underline that line beneath the text let's give it this blue shade Okay, we are almost there. Let's give it some hover effect. So just some border bottom. One pixel solid. And then this type of blue. Okay, so since this is only going to appear in a desktop um, size or screen size, I want to... I want this to not to disappear and not show um, in smaller screen size so and giving it some media query I want it to display to not display in this media query so I've saved that one and let's see um, okay. Okay, so as you can see, this pop-up is working. So once I click this one, and notice that um, whether I, I um, point my cursor in the text or anywhere between this line, uh, the cursor is, in, is a pointer. And you could actually click anywhere, this line. And once you click that one, the arrow down disappears and replaced by the arrow up. And the pop-up and the information or the text below this one shows. So it's similar to the one that I uh, first made. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and bye.